my name is Krishna and today I'm going to talk about the Apollo spacecraft. The Apollo spacecraft is an incredible machine that brought astronauts to the moon. It was split up into three parts, the command module, the service module, and the lunar module. Later on we'll talk about what each, mo each module does, but first let's get to, to talk about the launch vehicle the Saturn V rocket. Each machine was launched from Cape Canaveral, Florida and mission control in Houston, Texas. The Saturn V was about 363 feet tall. The size of a Boeing 747 is about this much. And the size of a human is about three big. The Saturn V was split up into three stages. They referred each stage by a technical name. Technical name. The first stage is called the S1C and was powered by five F1 rocket engines. The second stage was called the S2 and was powered by five slightly smaller J2 rocket engines, which were powered up by liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen. The third stage was called S4B and was powered by only one J2 rocket engine. The actual spacecraft was stored at the top of the rocket. What lies inside is the lunar module, which takes the astronauts to the moon. The command module gives all the instructions to, to the Saturn V to steer and is a place where the astronauts stay to, through the remainder of the journey. This part at the top of the rocket here is the launch escape system. It takes the wee big command module away from the rocket in case of an emergency. Let's attach that back. So now we are going to look about during the day of the launch. On the day of the launch, the first stage ignited eight seconds before the Saturn V left the ground. The astronauts will feel, during the launch, astronauts will feel as much as 4 Gs per second, pushing them back into their seats. It shuts off at 2 minutes and 42 seconds, at about 62 kilometers. Explosive bolts detonate to release the first stage, letting it fall down to the Atlantic Ocean. Now, we are left with two rocket engines. Then, the second stage will fire up just as soon as the first stage is, has fallen into the Atlantic Ocean. It fires up for about 9 minutes and 12 seconds and it cuts off. Now, we are left with the third stage. Now that the launch escape system is not in use, it comes off. This is what's left of the rocket. It, try, it, it, it fires up for a few minutes and after that it stays in orbit, which is called the parking orbit at a height of 175 kilometers. It's just a short amount of time so that astronauts can check with controls if they're ready to launch and go into lunar insertion.
So, before we've discussed about the parking orbit, so now, while stage 3 is in parking orbit, it shuts down at 11 minutes and 39 seconds, but does not detach. Yet, one of the most hardest parts of the mission is over. The third stage orbits around the Earth for a few rotations. Once they have confirmed that all systems are good, the third stage ignites one more time for about six minutes. This is called translunar injection. It moves the spacecraft away from the Earth and towards the moon. The S4B is now useless. Remember, that's the third stage at the top of the Saturn V. The spacecraft lunar module adapters detach. Now that they have detached, the, the command module does a 180 degree turn and docks into the lunar module. The command and service module will be docked together for the remainder of the journey to the moon. In space, temperatures are a lot extreme. There is a real danger of the spacecraft get freezing or getting too hot. To prevent this, the spacecraft is put into a slow roll so that there is an even heat distribution. It's also, this was called passive thermal control, also known as the barbecue roll. After three days, and once all systems are go, it is time to enter lunar orbit. This is called Lunar Orbit Insertion, LOI. As the spacecraft passes behind the moon, the service module engine was fired up for about six minutes to slow the spacecraft down. At times like this, they will lose contact with mission control because they are on the far side of the moon. But unfortunately, this is where a lot of the most important events happen. Now it is time for the main event. When the astronauts are ready, they climb into the lunar module. The mo lunar module now extends its legs. After making sure everything still checks out, the lunar module separates from the command plus service modules, also known as CSM. After moving two miles away from the command module, the engines fire for about 30 seconds. This is called descent orbit insertion. After 15 minutes, the engines fire up again for power descent initiation. They should find a specific spot to land. And because they have less fuel, they have to choose quick. Once they have chosen a spot, they land. Now the astronauts can climb down, plant a flag, do some science. This is a large scale module, model of what is this. Here, you can see many features of the lunar module. Now that we've learned about the landing of the lunar module, we have to see exit, also known as early entry back to Earth. So now, the lunar module is actually two pieces, okay? Remember that, two pieces. The descent stage and the ascent stage. Most likely a math. During landing, the descent stage takes us back down, back to the moon surface. 
but now it is useless and dead weight, so it will be left on the lunar surface. When it is time to leave, the ascent stage fires up for about 15 seconds. After a few engine burns, the ascent stage will dock into the command slash service module. All valuables are returned from the module to the command module. Now it's time to say goodbye to, to the ascent stage. It was either left orbiting around the moon's orbit or it was intentionally crashed into the moon's surface. Now that the now that the command module and service module is left, it takes about three days for them to return to Earth. Once they return to Earth, the service module detaches from the command module. So you can see the command module detaching. And you might not understand, but this is only a small command module from the entire Saturn V returns back to Earth safely. So once it separates, something, uh, a surface is exposed. It is called a heat shield. It protects the command module from burning up in the Earth's atmosphere. So once it comes down, it comes down with a lot of force. 175 meters above the Earth's surface, the parachutes deploy and finally splash down. Half a million miles of going to the moon and 25, 25 million spectators watching it. We have made it. Thank you.